Welcome to this tutorial video where I'll guide you on how to link your geographic data stored in Google Sheets with Google Maps. By following these steps, you'll be able to create interactive maps and observe changes in your data set without the need to recreate the map. Additionally, you can create stunning dashboards that include multiple maps. To accomplish this, we'll be using Looker Studio, another free product from Google that helps you visualize and share your data in an easily understandable way. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'll be using the World Airports data set downloaded from ArcGIS Hub. We'll utilize the latitude and longitude data to map the data set on Google Maps. Let's get started by logging into Looker Studio and creating a blank project. Next, we need to add data to our project. To do this, we'll link our World Airport data from Google Sheets, which is saved in our Google Drive. Simply search for the sheet by its name to locate it easily. Make sure to select the correct tab where your data is stored. Click on Add. And then select Add to Report. Great! We have successfully connected our Google Sheets to Looker Studio. In order to map our data on Looker Studio, we need to have a Geo Data field. We can create one using our Latitude and Longitude fields. We'll provide the Latitude and Longitude as comma-separated values. Let's create a new field by clicking on the Add Field button at the bottom of the data column. Give the new field a name. Now, we can combine the Latitude and Longitude fields using the concat function. Don't forget to click Save. Locate the new field and change its data type to Latitude and Longitude. Then, click Continue. Choose a suitable theme and layout for your project. Adjust the page settings according to your requirements. Now, let's add our map to the page. To do this, navigate to Add Chart and select Bubble Map under the Google Maps section. In the Fields section, select the Latitude underscore Longitude field we created earlier. For the tooltip, choose Name. And for the color dimension, select Continent to assign separate colors to each continent. You can also add other elements such as tables, scorecards, bar charts, and area charts to create a complete dashboard for your dataset. Next, let's add some controls to the dashboard. 
Controls allow you to make your reports interactive by enabling you to filter or change the displayed data in the reports components. For example, let's add a drop-down list to select the continent. Feel free to add additional controls to enhance interactivity. Click the view button to preview the dashboard in view mode. Now, as you change the data using the controls, you'll notice that the map and other components automatically update. That's it. You've learned how to link your geographic data from Google Sheets with Google Maps using Looker Studio. Be sure to visit the link in the description below to learn more. <laughs>